All right, good morning. We got to sponsor today. Today's segment is brought to you by Sun Chips. This variety is irrelevant, but in general, Sun Chips provide a nutritional snack, high calorie. Good morning. They're always on the seg. They're going to be regulars. I'm telling you, they, they do a morning walk every time. Go back to Sun Chips. So Sun Chips are a healthy snack that gets you through the day with a little bit of flavor. Anyways, I just wanted to do that for fun. You know, put more sponsors on the seg. But then I was thinking we don't have a we don't have a segment jingle. So. Good morning, there's a song for you. That's the morning jingle, we did that. So the last item I wanna cover is a little bit of bike maintenance. So riding your bike, you wear away this thing. The chain, okay, the chain gang. And that needs to be replaced every so many miles. I'll let you know in the segment down below how many miles I put on my chain because I just replaced this one and I used the park tool measuring tool. I'm going to put a link down to this below. Good morning. Love it. If you don't have very many tools and you're looking to invest in some quality tools to keep your bike in tip top shape, I recommend the park tool chain measuring tool. So this tells you with different numbers. Good morning. This tells you in different numbers exactly when to replace your chain. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use it today. But when you're replacing your chain, new chains run 20 to 30 bucks. I'll put a link to a, it depends on how many speeds you have, okay? So I can't link every chain, but it depends on, good morning. It depends on how many speeds you have. And then you're gonna want a chain tool, a chain breaker, good morning. A chain breaker is gonna allow you to break that chain and install the new one. It actually comes on some different uh, multi-tools nowadays, so you don't need its own, own part. You can just get a multi-tool. Uh, let me show you how to measure this chain over the river, up in the woods. Okay. Oh, man. We're gonna run out of memory. Okay, real quick. So, here's our chain. It's new. Just replace it. It feels great, by the way. That's why I wanted to let you know. When you replace your chain, it feels great. So we're gonna drop this chain tool in, and we're gonna push this, and we look, it's about 0.25. So anywhere from 0.25 to 0.5, it's a new chain. If it gets to 0.75 and beyond, you're gonna wanna replace it. So you simply just push it. You can measure a couple spots. Here it is, push it. That one's about 0.5. So it's still new, I just replaced it. And then, don't, good morning. And then you're gonna wanna make sure that your other, that your new chain matches the length of the old chain, assuming it was properly configured in the first place. So you might have a couple extra links. You can keep those in case your chain ever breaks. Nowadays they got like a nice power link, so you really don't need a too much of a chain tool. But that's the basics of it. I'll let you guys research it more. Just want you to be aware. That's the same.